I've always been interested in jewelry. I wear lots of jewelry throughout, like junior high school. My dad actually hated it. I would wear it, have like, you know, be 11, 12 years old, rings on every finger. I was always into metal. I didn't really understand it at that point. It wasn't until I got older when it was like, aha, that makes sense. There was like a personal epiphany that happened that I retreated into this darkness. But what I would call it was me retreating into this void. You know, there's just, there's a level of darkness that has to happen to me for creation yeah. to happen. So in that personal going into and retreating, it also reflected in my creativity because at that point of darkness, then this creation was happening. I spent a lot of time studying, researching in, in many different forms, not just like reading, but also experiencing nature and listening to a lot of music that resonates with me. I'm an artist and my medium and form of expression is um, textiles, clothing design, and building collections off of a concept. I'm also an alchemist. We're born in Brooklyn, we're first generation. Our parents aren't. So our Brooklyn is seen through a, a different scope than I think people who go back generations and generations of being in Brooklyn. And it's because the way that our mother moved us around through Brooklyn, growing up in different schools and different districts, it all sprouted from my mother like, oh, you're not gonna go to your zone school, you're not gonna go to Erasmus. You're gonna go to some school in Midwood. You know what I mean? You're gonna take a test to go into a school. It was just, I don't know, being in Brooklyn, where we were, how we were raised, our parents, and what they thought about our education, it just taught, I don't know, it just took us to a, another level. I was just reading this quote that Michael Jackson said, to be immortal is something major. He wants to live forever, so he puts a piece of his soul in all of his music and he feels it fully. And that's, I think, where immortality lies like too. To have that vibration and generations upon generations is not just about being rich and, and even about being so-called wealthy, but having that, that piece of your soul because your soul is immortal. So Michael Jackson, the physical sense is gone, but that's, that immortal soul is always gonna be there. So if you put your soul into it and your soul is immortal, then it makes what, you're, what you've created immortal. I think every day from like the time that I wake up to the time I'm asleep, I'm either researching or thinking about the next way or phase to transform what I did yesterday into something a little more like, mm, has a little more magic in it. These things that you, you know, you walk outside and it's like a, a rush of the world happening to you. And it's, it, it, that's the same thing I think in the creative process. It's mm -hmm. like a rush of ideas that come but you still have to stay like, okay, I'm gonna breathe in, take this one. Like it's, it's almost, it's a mechanical thing, but it's like automated. Our brand is to plant the idea and bring back artisan, craftsmanship, and also empowerment um, through our, you know, our art form. We want to empower people through connection, you know what I mean? And empower people through our work and empower them when they put a piece on, they actually feel like they have a glow, you know, or that they're receiving our energy through our pieces. It's showing that, you know, energy never dies, it's just transferred. We want to kind of bring ourselves to higher levels of understanding because the world is changing, the world is transforming. We kind of got to get with it or get lost. You right. know what I mean? Get lost in the soil. And I think what we're doing is kind of putting our input into the whole story of the earth and kind of we just want to help, you know, infinite spiritual helpers and guides and stuff like that in a nutshell. That's about it. L.E. baby. For life.